Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode we got a ton of star pieces and we actually got a Power Plus badge from Merle Merlo. I don't remember her name. But in this episode we're going to be doing some Koopa Koop favors. So we did get the autograph from Luigi finally so let's go ahead and give it to him. Hop and Hammer Brothers, you're a wizard Mario. You're a wizard Harry. I have so many unique treasures now. I'm a, how, what a lucky Koopa I am. Take this and know I'm very grateful. And it's just another coin. So, what do we have next? I'm ready for another favor. Okay, so the other day, he went cop shopping in Koopa Shop in the village. But on the way home, he must have dropped his wallet on the road. Look for it, won't you? My memory is kind of sketchy, but I think I remember talking to that guy who listens to the radio in front of his house. I'm sure my wallet was with me then, but after I got home, I realized it was gone. I'm hyperventilating. I must find that wallet. Promise me you'll help. Okay, so this wallet isn't actually too far out of the way. If I remember correctly, I don't remember exactly where it is, but the guy who listens to the radio is right here. So, there it is. We got the empty wallet. Uh, not sure if he uh, didn't have any money in there to start with, which in that case, why would you be missing your wallet? Or if someone stole it from him, but hey, we got the wallet. Hopefully he doesn't think that we stole it all. Jeez. Oh, thanks, Star Haven. You've saved me again, Mario. You seem to have a nose for finding things. I guess so. Take this as thanks. Oh, you don't have to be so polite. It's another one coin. And what luck we've came again. Oh, how kind of you, the younger... <laughs> if you find the time, I really do have a cra craving for a tasty tonic, which we did make by cooking up a lime. And you can also find it by defeating the poison... What are they? The poison pokies. Or I guess they're mummy pokies in... Uh... Dry Dry Ruins. It's uh, my all-time favorite drink. It really clears out the old ba beak. Oh, I guess they do call it a beak. Interesting. Fetch me a cold one, would you? <laughs> Jeez, I'm parched over here. I have your ward, young feller. Yeah, we do have the tasty tonic. Pouring piranhas. You're like a psychic, Mar Mario. This is exactly what I wanted. I mean, you did tell us what you wanted. As a guest gesture of my gratitude and generosity, take this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Another coin! Well, what luck you came at a perfect time, young man. Yes, just the same stuff over and over again. I've heard through the grapevine that there's a beautiful fortune teller living in Shooting Star Summit. So, if you would, I want you to hike up there and ask her for an autograph. I'm too shy. Run along for me now. I can barely wait. You promise to hurry? So this one's a bit of a kind of fetch quest, so obviously he's talking about Mer Lovely at the base of, at the base of uh, Shooting Star Summit, so I'll meet you all there. All right, here we are. Let's go say hi to Mer Lovely. Yo, what up? Ah, my, my, heart. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune teller. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. No, I think we're good. Excuse me, you want my autograph? My, my, mercy. Heart, are you sure it's mine you want? Aw, so humble. You really do? Well, this is a first. What shall I do? Ah, of course, heart. I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but I'll give you the autograph on one condition. A small favor. I want you to visit my twin sister and fetch a crystal ball from her. She lives in a back alley at Dry Dry Outpost. Her name is Merle. Well, Mario, would you, heart? That's the first time we've seen a heart before the punctuation mark. Okay, so this is why I didn't go to Mer Lovely bef or Mer Merle before, because I actually wanted it to be related to a test. Or, not a test, but a quest. I can't believe I just messed that up. But she is indeed in Dry Dry Outpost, so let's go see her. You're probably starting to see the usefulness of the blue pipes, aren't you? Anyway, back here, it looks like nothing's suspicious here. However, if you go back here and jump over these crates... Well, look at that! Also a Mauser. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger, you might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well, but do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but is also unpredictable. Okay, so yeah, he's explaining her main gimmick here. Oh wow, she has cow skulls in the back there. That's interesting. That are on fire. My older sister, more lovely? What's she want? Oh, I see. Is that so? I bet I know. Oh ho. Okay, okay. Please give this to Mer Lovely with love from her sister Merle. So I believe she rhymes, maybe? Also, there's a weird, like, little yellow glow around the ball there. Anyway, we got the crystal ball. We gotta bring that to Mer Lovely. But before we do, let's enlist this woman's services. 
Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? She does rhyme. I'm Merle, you see. That's me. A cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance to watch my cards dance? Let's do it. Oh, how lovely. Very good. Pick just one now, if you would. Heart? I'll, I'd pay as much as I could. So, petite course, 5 coins, ordinary course, 20 coins, or the special course, 50 coins. So how much you pay here actually determines how long the, the, the spell will stay on you. Since I have money, I'll go ahead and use the special course. Well, we're ready. Tally-ho, and here we go, heart. Alright, let's do it. So look at this. This is actually pretty cool. There is, of course, like a uh, equivalent to this in other Paper Mario games. I'm not sure if there is in Super Paper Mario, actually, now that I think about it. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. Heart, it'll, eat, it'll light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. Heart, my spell makes a famine feast. See you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. So she does have a couple of um, effects that that can do, like the guy said, double your experience, double your coins, double your power, or make you take no damage from a, from a fight, and I believe that's actually pretty much all she can do. Uh, but yeah, that's what happens. So let's go back to more lovely. All right, we've got what you ask for. Ah, my my heart. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. Uh, that's not what we're worried about. We have the crystal ball. Oh, mercy, heart, thank you, I'll cherish this. And for you, here is my autograph, as promised. It'll be valuable someday. And we got the autograph from We're Lovely. So, now let's go bring that back to Koopa Koot. Jeez, Koopa Koot is really working me to the bone. Alright, we've got your autograph, old man. Here you go. Jumping Jungle Fuzzies, you're peerless, Mario, my word, good gracious. Oh, oh my, what a beautiful handwriting, heart. Be still, my heart. Uh, that is, this will be, this is the heart of my collection. You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you this special gift as thanks. Don't tell anybody, though, I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, and you don't have to be so polite, young fella, take this. And that gives us three more star pieces. Wowie zowie. So let's keep talking to him. Oh, what luck, you came at the perfect time. Yeah, we'll do another favor for you. Not quite as mobile as I was in my salad days, and I, as a result, I feel like I'm losing touch with the outside world. A newspaper would be the best way for me to catch up, no? Would you mind reading the Toad Town news for me? You could tell me the news then. My R's aren't good, see? Don't spare the juicy gossip, either. I'm all ears. Hurry up if you can. I'm losing touch here. Promise me you will. All right. I guess we will. So, he is talking about the uh, sign outside of um, Merlin's place, so let's go look at that. All right, here we are. This fast music is actually starting to grate on me a little bit, but let's read it. Toad Town News, Shy Guy Invasion, Robbing Rogues Run Rush... Roughshod? That's a word? A squad of scurrilous Shy Guys has beset Toad Town, leaving our fair citizens in a daze. The thefts are too numerous to name here, but suffice to say... Suffice it to say? Residents are urged to guard their possessions. It's a still unclear where the Shy Guys are hiding out. We'll post news as it breaks. Well, we better figure that out. But he did ask for the gossip as well, so... Righteous message corner. How many Koopa Troopas have been beaten up by Mario? It's shameful. An anonymous Koopa. Uh, maybe we shouldn't talk about that with the old Koopa Coot. Let's go back to him and report the news. All right, we've got some news. Hello there. Creeping crazy daisies, you're pure class, Mario. Ah, so that's what's going on in the world. I'm not sure I believe all those wild tales, but I suppose if you say so. Hopefully he's talking about us killing lots of Koopas. It's nice to catch up on the current lingo. I've had a hard time understanding youngsters lately. Now I'm hip. Why don't you take this for helping me? Oh, you don't have to be so polite. Yeah, that's one more coin. So I think this next one might be one we can't do right now. Let's check it out anyway. Okay, I've been ailing a bit lately. I'd like to get a life stream. Oh no, we can do this one. Uh, you know, to have a hand just in case of an emergency, which is why we bought one from the boo shop. Please, please find one for me. You, you should be able to find one at a select shops. Please hurry, I'm not feeling well at all. You promise to return? I believe really the only one you can get from a shop is uh, the one in Boo's mansion, so go there to get this. Oh, by the musty shroom, you're a peach, Mario. Okay, I'm a peach? That's a... Uh, 
It's a little bit of a relationship, eh? I feel 10 times better and 20, 20 years younger. Maybe I'll go jog after my nap. Here, take this as thanks. Oh, and you don't have to be so polite. Now I believe this next one is one we can't do. Oh, oh, he's gonna give this to us now? Okay, I found an old thing since I last time I saw you. Have a look, a gold credit. They gave this to me at a playroom since I was such a frequent visitor. You can have it now. Good luck, make money. So now we have the gold credit, allowing us to do the second and last of the mini games in the playroom. However, I believe he has another one for us, but we can't do it yet. Uh, oh yeah, he has a craving for one of tasty, scrumptious, nut nutty cakes. You get this by, yeah, as he says, the secret ingredients, a goom nut. You cook a goom nut. However, we cannot cook right now because, of course, she doesn't have the frying pan. So we're going to have to wait until after we get that to do this for him. But I believe this is the last one we're able to do at this moment, so we won't be too far behind. Okay, so now that we've done all of that, it seems as if we have a bit of time left on our hands, so let's go back to the playroom. Actually, I'm not sure if we have that much time at all, or like a ton of time, because uh, I cut so much out in this episode because there was so much traveling. Anyway, back down to the playroom. Hello there, everyone. I am back to gamble. Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the playroom. Cool, you have a gold credit. In that case, I'll make a pipe appear that will lead down to a smash attack floor. So I wonder if anyone else who's in this room can just like casually go down there. Does anyone else say anything different? I heard the nine blocks option in jump attack is really hard to clear successfully. Still haven't done that. I think I might try it out again. Maybe I'll have better odds in playing the five blocks option. Uh, probably, but you won't get that hard ca cold cash. Even messed up saying that. Anyway, into the second pipe here. Hello. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Let's not do this for y yet. Let's. We'll read that next time. Another time, perhaps. Okay. So what I actually want to do is I want to go to my badges. Uh, go ahead and equip. I don't care. Power bounce. We're going to equip. Um. Speedy spin because it'll actually be useful in here. Trust me. Okay. Now let's go back down. Now that we have the proper equipment, yo. Welcome to Smash Attack. You'll need 10 coins to play. Like, like to give it a try? Play. Ready to get 10 peaches, peach panels? Oh, he didn't even explain it again. Okay, so basically, all of these uh, boxes that he's about to put down will have 10 peach panels all together in all of them. You need to find the 10 that have them. There will be some bad things in these boxes. Smash! Attack! So just go ahead and... Oop. Oh wait, I shouldn't have hit that. So yeah, things will bounce out. Make sure you just aim for the ones that you know have good things. And if you see anything bounce up that's bad, I forgot what I saw out of here. That's good. And then of course, uh, your spin thing will help you a lot. I saw that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the ones that I see it. Oh! We only have three more. We're doing kind of well. I didn't see that. Wow, we completely ate it, didn't we? Jesus. So this one's a bit more skill-based, as you can see by the fact that I suck at it. There's also bombs in there that we didn't see. I guess normally the way you'd want to do it is to just like, go ahead and hit them all in a straight line, avoid the ones that you know are bad. Oh, come on! Boom, boom, boom. I mean, I guess you can't really see them if they're bad. Are you serious? Stop this! So we know that this bad... Boom, boom. Boom. But I can't. I'm bad at this. I'm so bad at aiming. I know there's one up here. Up here. Here. Ugh, I'm missing over and over again. I suck at this. Not gonna lie. I just pure suck. Good God. Yeah, I'm not going to try that out again. Uh, just so you know that your prize... Or, not that. Your prize is going to be 10 times how many seconds you'd have left. So basically just remove the decimal. So if you have five seconds left, you get 50 coins and you know, so on and so on. Let's try the jump smash attack though. Or maybe it wasn't smash, it was just jump attack. Let's do seven blocks. So let's see if we can get this. Once again, if you need to re rehash, there are coins. There's five coins. There's five times your current amount. And then there's Bowser that ends the game. Sadly, we got the five times at the beginning. And we don't get anything because we hit Bowser. I was going pretty bad anyway. Here, I want to get rich. I'm going to get absolutely rich. 
Your best bet is probably the seven block one. Because nine block one, you basically have to do perp. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure, like, maybe there's only two Bowser blocks. I'll go ahead and do five blocks just because I seem to have horrible luck. See how we do. Maybe we can get our money back. Are you kidding me? Stop this madness. I don't deserve this. Okay. Let's try it again. I don't care. I'm going to go bankrupt. I do not care. Here. Boom. One coin. Five coins. Times five. No. No. I, I like, I, I should probably look up the odds of winning this. Because surely I'm doing worse than the odds would specify. That is even if they're... Are you... What? No! You can't do that. Stop it. I know, I know, I know it's just like, okay, why are you getting mad? You're just hitting it over and over again. But the chance, like, the chances should be in my favor right now. I only have to hit five of these things without not hitting a Bowser block. Of course. Are you... No. Hold on. Okay, I'm actually going to look up how many Bowser blocks are in here, and I'm going to show it on screen. Now, if that number is more than four, then sure... I can, I can understand this happening, but this is insane. This is incredibly dumb. Jump. Attack. Okay, now it has to be greater than five. One more, we only have one more chance. Let's see if we hit it on our first hit. Who cares? And I'm hitting different ones each time. So you'd think the luck would be like random. Come on, times five. Times five, I couldn't, they couldn't even give it to me. They couldn't even give eight coins to me. They could, ugh, I'm, I can't. I can't. I'm, yeah, I don't even have ten coins, I wonder why. God, that's dumb. Well, we just gambled all of our coins away. We didn't have that many, to be fair, and we don't really have anything to use them on right now, other than little oinks. Okay, so I don't actually know how much time we actually have in this um in this episode, but in the next episode we're going to jump right into chapter 4. So, I'll see you all then and goodbye.